Hello, in this video, I'm going to take you through how to run a repeated measures ANOVA in JASP. The reason for this is that we can't run a repeated measures ANOVA in SPSS with the current program that we have. So I would like you to be able to know how to do this in case for your project, you end up having a within subjects design. Also, some students prefer JASP. Um, we may be moving towards using JASP in future semesters altogether. Right now I'm trying to get a feel for who prefers SPSS versus JASP. Um, and so again, just teaching you a new platform, it is fairly user friendly. Um, you can download it to your own computer so that you have access. Whereas with SPSS, you can only ask, access it through a porto. Now, if you don't want to download it to your computer, you can still access JASP through a porto as well. So first, we're, what we're going to do, you see here, everything's grayed out here because we don't have a data set open. So we're going to go ahead and open our data set. And it's the Harvey et al. And you'll go to the Canvas assignment page. And then you'll want to um, either download that file to your computer, if you um, put JASP on your own computer, or you can do it within the Aporto um, computer as well. So now here I have my data. And one thing I want to point out is a notice here, here, these are my participant numbers. And it's really not a scale. So this the ruler means scale just very similar to what we saw in SPSS. So we want to change that to um, nominal because we don't want to run any analysis on that. It's just identifying who the participant is. And then we have the direction of rotation. And so this is coded And then we have the type of feedback that was provided. Understated feedback, accurate feedback, or overstated feedback. And notice that each participant went through each type of feedback. That's why it's a repeated measures design. This was repeated with the same participants. Whereas if you go back and you look at our between subjects, whether it's the t-test or the ANOVA that we did last week, you'll notice that the data is stacked. And so um, participants 1 through 12 might have been in condition 1, 13 through 20 in condition 2, and so on and so forth. So that's where it's different. These are my different conditions here. So what we're going to do first is run some descriptive data. So we're going to click on that, and you see here this opens up. I haven't put anything in. So now we're just going to move over each one of our conditions. So move it one variable over at a time. We click on it and you'll see it's populated the table. Now, I want to do a couple things here. First of all, I would rather, I want to transpose my descriptive labels. That's going to put my conditions in this part of the table. So I just click that there, and it transposes them. So now this is much more clean. It's much more what you would normally see in a, uh, in a, a table in an APA style report. Another thing is that these names, because they have the underscore, they kind of look funny. So I am going to go back to my data set. I can do that by clicking that. See, it says show data. And when I'm here, when I, I hover over, it says double click to edit data. All right, so I'm going to double click here. Okay, it takes me to my data. And what I want to do is just, um, I could either just, I think I'm going to do it this way. I think, you know, I'm going to take out the visual feedback. I can use that as, a, as, a, as another header. I'm going to put understated, accurate, and overstated. And then I'm going to go back to my JAPS file. So I needed to save that to make sure that it changed. It didn't change until I actually saved it. And I see here I have a typo. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to click on that again. And I'm going to click Save so that when I go back to my file, it looks correct. OK, so I want to make sure I have everything that I want. I have a mean and standard deviation. I think I also want to put in a couple of other things. So if I go down here to Statistics, um, for some data, you may be interested in a mode or a median, not here. But we're going to put the standard error of the mean. I don't think we're really interested in anything else. I'm going to take the valid out. I don't really care that, that about that. I don't care about the missing. There's because there was nothing. See if you see that there was nothing missing. So here we have our table. Um, 
I'll show you later how you can copy the, the data and again, make it into an APA style table.